this morning. Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 11th. I'm Nicole Nalepa with your top headlines. Breaking this morning, a computer system outage is starting to cause delays at airports nationwide, including right here in Connecticut. This system is responsible for sending out vital information to pilots. Now, at last check, Bradley International Airport was reporting at least a dozen delayed departures. The FAA says that they are working to restore its notice to air mission system. If you have a flight this morning, make sure to check in with your air carrier on its status before you head to the airport. Now officials just released this statement as you see here in writing quote the FAA is working to restore its notice to air mission system. We are performing final validation checks and repopulating the system now. Operations across the national airspace system are affected. We will provide frequent updates as we make progress and of course we'll provide you updates both on air and on the channel 3 app. We are now following developing news down on the shoreline after police swarmed a building in New Haven last night and arrested at least one person. Now this all went down on Winthrop Avenue and we know that this may have stemmed from a shooting investigation which was taking place in West Haven and that ended up leading police to that New Haven apartment complex. At this time we are working with investigators to learn more about that arrest and we will be sure to bring you updates throughout the morning on air and on the Channel 3 app. We're also learning more this morning about the plans that are in place to honor a state lawmaker, Representative Quentin Williams, who died after he was hit by a wrong way driver on Route 9 in Cromwell last week. A special procession will be held today for the man affectionately known as Q. The drive will begin at Howard K. Hill Funeral Services in Bloomfield. State police will then escort the motorcade to the Williams home in Middletown and from there they'll proceed on to the state capitol where a moment of silence will be observed at 1 p.m. A private funeral will be held for Williams on Saturday. Back to New Haven this morning, the five officers charged for the injuries and subsequent paralysis of a man in custody will be back in court. All five are facing reckless endangerment and cruelty charges for the arrest and the crash that left Randy Cox paralyzed back in June. Now these five are all out on a $25,000 bond. A Waterbury police officer has been fired after a very heated exchange during a traffic stop that was all caught on video. Take a look. I got two kids at home waiting for me to come home tonight. Sir, I'm very sorry. I'm sorry doesn't break it. Body cam video shows Officer James Hinkle during a traffic stop on December 13th repeatedly yelling at a woman who drove through an intersection as he directed traffic. Now an internal investigation determined that Officer Hinkle was unprofessional. First of all, that's inexcusable behavior, right? Um, but there was nothing um, that uh, mitigated and there certainly would never be anything that mitigated that type of behavior. Now, Hinkle has been with the department for almost seven years, and at this point, it isn't clear if he'll take action to fight his termination. Also happening today, city leaders in Hartford will discuss ways to make local roads safer. A committee will be meeting tonight at 530 to discuss ways to reduce traffic deaths, and we'll learn more about some of those ideas tonight and share them with you on Eyewitness News at 6. And the Bristol police officer who took out the suspect in a deadly shootout this past fall is getting national recognition. Officer Alec Iorato will be inducted into the National Law Enforcement Hall of Fame this March. He'll be receiving a Courage and Service Award at a ceremony in Toledo, Ohio. Iorato has been hailed as a true hero for killing the man accused of murdering two fellow Bristol officers back in October. All right, hi everybody, good morning. We are taking a look at an early morning weather alert for Friday. Friday morning in particular, we're expecting heavy rain and wind, so plan accordingly. Uh, in the meantime, 704, we're doing pretty good out there this morning, but again, the alert is for Thursday night through Friday morning. Periods of heavy rain, poor visibility, ponding on the roads, breezy with gusts 20 to 30, maybe even a 40 mile an hour wind gust. Could start as a little bit of snow Thursday, late morning, early afternoon, tomorrow, late morning, early afternoon, maybe a coating in parts of northern Connecticut, but it'll quickly change over to rain as the temperatures continue to rise Thursday into Thursday night and into Friday morning. This is Friday. It exits by about 11 o'clock noontime, so it's going to be a short-lived system, but it is going to do uh, bring down a pretty good amount of rain pretty good amount of wind as well and that's why we've gone ahead and issued that early morning weather alert. All right, 26 degrees right now in Waterbury with mostly overcast conditions. Roads are dry. 
uh, Mystic, a little bit of sunshine there with, uh, again, the clouds hanging tough in Mystic. We're expecting partly cloudy skies during the day today, kind of like yesterday. Uh, the temperature is going to be a little bit cooler than yesterday. You'll notice a little bit of a breeze there. Uh, 32 degrees in New Haven with a wind out of the north northeast at 8. And that little breeze is making you feel a little bit cooler. So dress accordingly. You need to bundle up this morning. Our Doppler scans the state dry. Roads are dry. You are good to go. And visibility is at a perfect 10. Now the number you should be seeing in this column is 19 in the temperature column. Uh, we're at 23 in stores, 24 in Kent and East Hartford, and 28 in West Haven. As you can see, the numbers are above average, but it's still a chilly start out there. 25, 26, 28, 29, 31, 32. So a little bit better along the shoreline, but and we are down from yesterday anywhere from five to 14 degrees cooler to 15 degrees cooler at Bradley than 24 hours ago. That's pretty substantial. All right. And the winds again out of the north, uh, anywhere from seven to just about 10 to 13 miles an hour in Bridgeport. Now here's the satellite and radar. It shows some clearing in parts of northern Connecticut, but mostly overcast conditions in other parts of the state. So depending on uh, how much sunshine we see today, you might need those shades from time to time. Now, this is early morning futurecast. Tomorrow's weather today shows us an hour by hour depiction of increasing clouds. Tomorrow morning when you wake up with us on Eyewitness News at 430, it'll be cloudy, but it'll be dry. And then here comes some snow showers right around 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Could lead to a coating in northern Connecticut, plain rain for the shoreline. We get a little bit of a break. And then tomorrow night through Friday morning, we're talking about a pretty good amount of rain and wind, but it all wraps up by late Friday morning. All right, temperatures today topping out in the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s for inland Connecticut. And for the shoreline, we're talking about more of the same, partly cloudy skies, temperatures in the upper 30s. So again, a little bit cooler than yesterday. Daytime highs are there. Sunrise 718, sunsets at 440. And then your seven day forecast includes the alert for Friday morning, Saturday, Sunday, Monday for Martin Luther King Jr. Day uh, weekend. It's looking good. We are talking about partly to mostly sunny skies with temperatures a little bit above average Saturday, Sunday, and then 42 degrees for Monday. That's a good looking day. 707 is now the time. Nicole, we'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Scott. And thank you so much for tuning in to Eyewitness News. Remember, you can get news and weather updates anytime on the Channel 3 app, including traffic updates. Remember that huge issue going on airports around the country this morning. Bradley International Airport reporting at least a dozen delayed departures at this time. There's a computer outage right now. So we'll keep you up to speed. Have a great day. Be healthy. Stay positive.